Marseille, on est où Marseille, quoi les gars On est au collier. C'est Qu'est-ce que tu dis maintenant The beautiful island probably is going to see it today. Welcome back to my vlog. My name is Gossi Africa. I'm with my friend here. Say your name, brother. So today we're traveling to the coastal town of Kenya. Yeah. So we want to be taking you on a road trip. We're using a matal today. Not using the flights or the SVR, the trains. So this is Nairobi. We're in River Road. Stay with us to the end. Let me show you Kenya, let me show you the beauty of Africa. Five hours later, we are in Mutitu and day which is the town between Nairobi and Mombasa. So in the next five hours, we expect to be in Mombasa, yeah? So at this point, everyone has to alight, to take a meal, to relieve themselves, or to buy a snack. So for me, I need to eat. The stomach is empty. And uh, on the way, I made a friend. I will say hi. Hi. Say your name. <laughs> My name is Sa. Yeah. <laughs> she talks too much Swahili, so um, as time goes by, we're going to learn a bit of Swahili. So for now, we're going to the hotel and taking something. And I call it on the hotel, which is diff quite different from my restaurant. So it's a restaurant. I correct myself. Really don't know what to check here, but I'm hoping that we have uh, choices. Are you decided on not to check? <laughs> yeah, confirm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> but you need to vlog a bit. No, all the camera. No, no. Yeah, all the camera vlog a bit. It goes up. And here we have uh, Pilau. But they are, I'm surprised in Trinidad and Tobago we have Pilau. I thought it's a soily word. Do you have soilies in Trinidad and Tobago? <laughs> My friend is not used to the camera, but she has to get used to it. Our life is a movie. We have to keep uh, updating you on whatever we do. Go see Africa. Mm -hmm. We love heating. I love heating. Some bone soup here. Yeah? I have my friends from the western part of Kenya. They don't take this kind of a meal. A pilau. Yeah. They say that this is not a meal for a man. But we're traveling. We need something light to keep us uh, active. Uh, until we get to the coastal part of Kenya. Mombasa is the largest city. We are at the coastal side. So it's the second largest city yeah, after Nairobi, our city, my city, my town. Whoever well, just joining, this is Mutitu Ande, five hours from Nairobi, CBD, where we picked this vehicle. 
we are created by iPhone to this place. So we are still on our journey. We just alighted for about 10 to 15 minutes. But it's bad manners to eat while talking. Let me continue. But then, human beings are social beings. And that's why whenever I'm traveling, whenever I'm out of the city, I have to keep on making friends. I made friends in the Caribbean, and that's why I'm the African Caribbean boyfriend. <laughs> so, we have meet here, and by the way, we are next to the national park, so chances of taking wild meat are 50 50 50. <laughs> the probability, uh, 50. Yeah, yeah, but they, I like the meat here. Uh, I like elephant meat. <laughs> no, no, hmm? no, this um, cow meat, cow meat, bull meat, because beef, beef. But we are next to Savo National Park, Savo Game, Game Park, yeah. Mm. Meat, I love meat. But I guess this guy favored me. I have so many, so many of them. Maybe so my camera so is like, oh, this guy might be negative when you talk negative about our restaurant. Hello? So this guy just told me that uh, we're getting late and we need to rush the vehicle. Let's 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 second day in Mombasa, the day I started. So yesterday I arrived at around uh, 3 minutes to 10, 10 p.m. Yeah, when every, almost everyone had already left the city. So I decided not to go across the ocean. Yeah, at that night, so I chose to spend my night in the highland, Mombasa Island. And uh, we had a not so small journey now that our driver was a bit uh, he was drunk so we said drunk yeah he was intoxicated he was, uh, lost a lot of cut and uh, you saw what happened uh, in Mitsuande when uh, we were taking lunch and uh, that guy picked the vehicle yeah, it didn't, uh, we didn't spend the minutes we were supposed to spend in Tuande, but we thank God we already saved. We are safe in Mombasa Island. Now we want to go across the ferry. So 
you shall be picking up the iPhone from this place um, to the ferry. But for the time being, I have, I have uh, for the time being, I still need to show you a bit of Mombasa. So the first impression once you get once you reach Mombasa is the humid level. The humid level is so high. Yeah, then the other thing is the tuk-tuks. The common means of transport from in, inside this place is use of tuk-tuks. The three-wheel vehicle. Then the, the usual matatus, the Nissans. Yeah. The Nganya. Let me show you a bit of Mombasa. Just listen to the music. You, you like how guys play music here. But I expected a lot of char up. Yeah, in this place. Uh, totally, I think they're forgetting their culture. So during the colonial period, we have we had different uh, types of groups within the city of Mombasa. We had the uh, missionaries, then we had the missionaries who are the Europeans. Then we have the British who are the colonies, then uh, the Arabs who, who came here purposely for business. So people in Mombasa in the married with yeah, the Arabs. And that's why you find Arabs are so much common in the city of Mombasa. This is the second largest city in Kenya and the biggest city in the coastal town. So we have three cities in Mombasa. We have Kuale, we have Mombasa, we have uh, Lamu. Oh, then Kilifi, yeah. But the biggest city is Mombasa. Main cities were established due to formation of the county, the county government, the Majimbo. So guys are like, why is this guy talking alone? But they will like talking alone so much. Just look at the graffiti. Who is that? The guy smoking. If you don't know, now you know, that's, that's the writing on it. I should have picked this vehicle, unfortunately, I need to stay in front. So, uh, allow me to walk a bit. Let me walk a bit. What do you expect to see? In any coastal town, this kind of trees and the coconuts and coconuts. In Swahili, we call coconuts Nazi. So those coconuts make alcohol. We call, the, we call it Nazi, the town. Look at this graffiti, beautiful girl, Afri African girl, someone calling me. Yeah, yeah. Try it. Oh, God. So that's my friend. He just called. They wanted to know whether I'm still within the island for them to meet me. Another impression in this city, all buildings are, are painted blue and white. They look beautiful, though all some of them are old. And I guess too much salt and the humid level makes these uh, buildings get all so, so fast. Remember the ghost painted just the other day.
every businessman uh, in this city was instructed by the governor it was a command everyone has to pay in their bidding white and blue or else they face a court case but you don't, you don't want to risk your um, documents get, get, getting confiscated because of your negligence you can always avoid that and how do you avoid it? you abide by the law when a powerful man tells you to walk by your knees you have no option other than doing it it's a big bus there I like the vibe Mombasa Very vibrant city, very vibrant island So basically I'm uh, within the island of Mombasa So those vehicles are going to the direction I'm headed to but I don't need to rush I'll be taking my time so whoever has ever been to Mombasa at night we have amazing lighting we call it the gothic lights this is it but at the moment you can't uh, identify where the lights are yeah, during daytime it's very hard for you to identify Mombasa, Kenya Majority of dwellers of Mombasa are soil speakers So I expect to encounter a lot of challenge interacting with some of them now that uh, Conversing in English might be hard, but they are educated. I'm hoping that, um, or else I'm going to get an editor. I speak in Swahili, and someone will be translating everything for me. Yeah, we can edit the the video with subtitles. Meanwhile, keep on subscribing to my channel. I showcase Africa to the world. Yeah, you can tell from a distance. So far, the tuk tuk, the three wheel vehicle, are so common in this city. Very, very common. In fact, it's the major means of transport in the highland. I need to learn uh, the behavior of these people. I don't know either they behave the same. It's Nairobi. In Nairobi, no one cares about your business. Whether you're doing well or bad, they don't really care. What you are doing is upon you. Keep on doing it. So, I want to know whether uh, someone told me that they really care about their neighbor. So, anytime you walk in, they have to say hi, they have to greet you. And whenever you don't greet them, they feel offensive. Yeah, they take it as an offense. So as usual, I have my backpack with me, and I want to be leaving it somewhere before proceeding to the other destination. I woke up early. I started the day quite early now that I needed to achieve a lot today.
probably today might be visiting a serpent. You know what a serpent is? But that probably will be on my next vlog. I wanna be headed to the south, at the south coast. So we pass not I have a hand on a serpent. Today you see what a serpent looks like. I know this might uh, lead to some negative reaction, but as a media person, you expect anything from a human being. Just wait and see. Yeah. So, type there. Leave a comment. What has happened? Is what is that happened? What is a serpent? A very vibrant city, very vibrant town. But then this uh, city we don't have uh, high-end uh, skyscrapers like the ones we have in Nairobi. It looks different. Just look. They are not that tall. In Nairobi we have very tall skyscrapers. Yeah, you're able to get there. You're able to get that uh, the Arabic vibe. Now that uh, most of these buildings were constructed by the Arabs and the Portuguese, in Mombasa we have the Vasco da Gama pillar. Vasco da Gama was a Portuguese, right? Leave a comment. Today, I'm liking how everyone is minding their own business. I mean, most of these big businesses, so to my right, I don't want to point it, but to my right is a uh, very established, very established uh, bus company. It, it, it's even the biggest one. I don't have promotion on, and uh, it was founded by the Arabs. Yeah, even today it is being managed by the Arabs. So anyone else you see involved in that business? Uh, must be an employee of the Arab, but the management is strictly the Arabic people. So these are kind of Matatus, the Nissans, the mini buses which I, I used last last night to Mombasa. Yeah. Alpha being how it goes. I know at times I yeah I talk I, I talk so loud. But then I'm gift, gifted in this. You are shouting, I can shout. When it comes to lot of I can whisper as well, so I can change depending on the 
the mood and uh, the, let's say the, the, the surrounding, the climate. Hello, Mombasa. We say Mombasa, Kuingera, I see Kutoka Ngumu. It's very easy to get uh, to this city and very hard to leave it. Once you join, you join. Once you join the city, you have uh, say hi, my bro. Say, say hi to the camera. Hi, hi. <laughs> you good? You traveling? Oh yeah. So these are the coconuts. Yeah, those are the coconuts. Probably some people don't know what a coconut is. Not everyone understands what a, a coconut is. I'm hoping that... Uh, I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that... Uh, Mombasa is safe secure and uh, there are no those bad boys people will always snatch your camera if you walk in the streets Nairobi is more common for that I, and I don't know why people never learn but then when you walk, when you snatch someone's property in Nairobi and they caught you up, they caught up with you, they ban you, they don't take you to the police station, so they ban you. I don't know why people never learn, they will still uh, repeat the same mistake again and again. You know your friend, uh, got banned or got stoned by your neighbors and uh, you, still, uh, you still do the same mistake, you go steal someone's property, this in the same action. Ah, uh ah, -uh. see That guy was asking whether I'm headed to Tuapa. You do morning run, I do morning walk. Yeah. This platform has, um, uh, has made me become a uh, long distance. Remember, Africans are long distance traders, right? I, I know you once learned about that. In the history books, yeah, Africans are long distance traders. So I've learned as well. Barien. Kwazima. Yeah. Hey, to go YouTube. YouTube. Now find your YouTube. So you can make a view YouTube. Can that put on your shop Africa? Africa in Zuri. So say no Shamombasa. Yeah, you should catch Mombasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mombasa safe, sure. Okay. Very safe. Akuna hatu Nairobi unajua wana snatch cameras. Ah, bravo. Oh, sawa. Sante. Okay. So, those men have advised me that uh, Mombasa is safe and no one to snatch my cameras in this city, this island. I like the discipline of these people. Yeah? So I need in the course of the day looking be looking for 
and old man and I use so different videos for them to advise me on how to survive yeah on how to survive yeah I just know yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I'll be getting get to advise them, for them to advise them to survive this shit. We have to call them to advise them to survive this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to work with the kids. Yeah, 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 say hi. You're going to work with the kids. Say hi to my subscribers. Yeah, tell them your name. What are you doing here? My name is Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you're talking, you're saying you want your Maasai name. Yeah. On the who? Maasai Kwanezo. On the Kwanezo. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Maasai people of Kenya. <laughs> Very friendly guy. And business minded as well. They wanted to sell me his products. What he's selling. Hello. Good. You wanted to sell, sell some products to me? told him I'm in business as well so we're talking about I want to get an old man in this island probably a magic and for them to advise me on what to do on the do's and don'ts in this island and of course um, what to avoid as a man and uh, as I grow up, maybe to the, to the, to the, to the edge, to the other edge. And a general advice. But most of them will talk about character. I'm trying to imagine how they view me walking in the streets or in the camera. They never think that a man can go to university and uh, walk in the street of the camera. Be like, oh, subscribe to my channel. My name is so-and-so. You even forgetting your name and calling yourself Ghosty Africa. <laughs> yeah. If it happens. I haven't took my breakfast, but probably I'm be taking it uh, across the ocean. Let me show you the goodies of the island. What you didn't know about this beautiful island, probably you're going to see it today. Probably we should end the video here and start a phrase, a different video of phrase, right? But they do prefer me doing long videos for short videos. With short, I mean less than 20 minutes. So this one is already more than 30. So do you, do you prefer long videos or short ones? Do you consider this a long or a short? A short video. Not sh I don't mean the YouTube shorts, but we have short videos. A shorter video. So the wires you see above there. 
there for internet connection and uh, that lighting we were talking about the lighting we see at night in city i'll be showcasing today tonight i might give you a video about the nightlife in this island so they're doing some cleanup some cleaning there are officials who are tasked who are tasked by doing for doing that yeah they clean the city every morning they ensure conducive living of the coastal people very active amazing very beautiful city the peaceful one so far with you guys saying hi Maybe the mood hasn't kicked in yet. Though I'm talking a language we probably they don't use. Most of these people say they are Swahili speakers. Makaveli, that's the name of that Nissan. I have a cousin and a superstar by the name Makaveli. I know in most in my videos, my first video when I was starting this channel you used to see some guy by the name of Macabelli that's my cousin my musician be moving to an area whereby we need to get the entire history of this beautiful island Mombasa I know my followers love me and I like, love them back so anytime you see me film you must get excited be ready for the, some exciting video some exciting vlogs in this beautiful island of Mombasa, my name is Gossi Africa. Have a good bye.